young professionals in our industry and their efforts to give back as part of National Volunteer Week and beyond. From the National Business Aviation Association, this is Flight Plan. I'm Rob Finfrock with your trusted source for business aviation news. Running from April 18th through the 24th, National Volunteer Week is a time to recognize those who go above and beyond in doing their part to improve their communities and our country. Giving back in ways both large and small is also a key mission for the young professionals, YoPros in business aviation, and for NBAA's YoPro Council, not just this week, but as often as they can, and throughout what's been a very atypical year. The YoPro Council has always tried to incorporate a community service piece into every live event that we attend. But when COVID hit, we wanted to ensure that we continue to encourage giving back in any way that we and YoPros can. So since we couldn't be together for a formal event, we pivoted to what we know best, social media, and encouraged everyone to participate in a virtual healthy day. So. This definitely looked a little different, but it was inspiring to see what everyone was doing. It ranged from donating dog and cat food to local animal shelters, to cleaning up trash in your neighborhood, to starting actual fundraisers for a nonprofit that is near and dear to your heart. So it was really inspiring to see everyone sharing the different ways that they were giving back, even though it was obviously a very difficult year for all of us. That's Samantha Losa, Director of Programs and Services for Corporate Angel Network and who serves on NBAA's YoPro Council. Also with me today is Ian Lump, another council member who's also the publisher of Business Air and Aviators Hotline. So Ian, what does the YoPro Council have planned during National Volunteer Week outside the council's usual volunteer activities? Yeah, so the YoPro Council has put together a list of charitable organizations related to professional development. That's our focus this time around. It's a lot more open sourced. You go out and do what you can in your community or greater, share it on social media, talk about it with your friends and get other people organized if you can. And and if your local area will let you do that amid everything going on with COVID-19. But go out and find something that you know you can do that you can contribute to. We've got a pretty basic list of organizations that we feel cross the line into professional development and may have a little bit of aviation relation. Um, so specifically, you know, we're, we're going to try and, and work with the professional pilots of tomorrow for obvious reasons. Um, we really want to help feed that pipeline of new pilots. Uh, looking backwards from there, we've also got the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts of America. That's something that's near and dear to my heart that I participate with. And it's something that is very youth oriented. So maybe not so much professional development right now, but there's also dress for success, which is pretty obvious. You know, we want to help out any way we can with good used clean articles of clothing. You want to donate if you've got professional gear for these people that maybe don't to be able to wear for a job interview or to get their life back on track. As Ian and Samantha mentioned, the ongoing situation with COVID-19 still poses challenges in how we're able to reach out to our communities. But it can also present opportunities. Ashley Granada is the marketing coordinator for Reliance Aviation, located at Florida's Miami Executive Airport. And she was inspired to do her part by a virtual YoPro's Healthy Day event last year. During the COVID-19 pandemic, there unfortunately became a very large and sudden increase in the need for food donations within South Florida. So combined with an effort to keep our community safe, I decided to create aviation-themed face masks to develop a fundraiser called Masks for Meals Miami as a way to give back to our local community. The purchase of each face mask contributed to an overall donation to one of South Florida's leading hunger relief organizations called Feeding South Florida. And the enthusiasm and support that we had received for this event honestly just meant the world to me. I was incredibly grateful for how people joined together to help increase awareness of our fundraiser. And I am immensely thankful for the way people supported our effort to help make a difference in our local community during such challenging times. We appreciated this generosity so much that in conclusion to our event, Reliance Aviation announced that it had tripled the donation amount raised 
leading to a contribution of funding for over 25,000 meals. That's amazing, Ashley. Of course, volunteering isn't only about gathering together food or supplies or other needed essentials. It's also about outreach to our communities. Jeremy Newland is Assistant Director of Maintenance at Air 7 at Camarillo Airport in Southern California. And Jeremy, please tell us a bit about how your outreach to local youth has helped introduce children in your community to aviation. So what I kind of do is hook up with local aviation themed groups, you know, that have kids in the local area who are interested in flight training or possibly maintenance or air traffic control, any different kind of career. And I'm able to show them many different facets of not only our industry, but within a company and kind of give them a a sneak peek of, you know, walking around the airplanes, understanding the the logistics and how everything kind of works um, outside of what they can see, um, you know, outside looking in. So I I, I do that and kind of work with as many different groups as I can and getting more spooled up in that. And it really just kind of sparks that flame within within the kids and, and helps them get interested and ask more questions and want to do more. So it's a really rewarding kind of thing to do. So I really enjoy it. We'll have more with our YoPros in just a moment. But first, this word from NBAA. NBAA Flight Plan listeners, if you value the expertise you get from your weekly podcast, we've got a way for you to get answers from experts live. Our NBAA NewsHour webinars give you access to the best operational, legal, technical, and other guidance for business aviation. Participate today by visiting nbaa.org slash newshour. We're back now with our discussion about community outreach and charitable initiatives as part of National Volunteer Week with YoPros Ashley Granada, Samantha Losa, Ian Lump, and Jeremy Newland. As we've discussed, COVID-19 forced our industry to adapt in countless ways, including how companies handle their charitable initiatives. Samantha, you've experienced that firsthand at Corporate Angel Network. How did you see companies step up in their volunteer efforts? Yeah, Corporate Angel Network, from the beginning of the shutdown, had both new and existing flight departments reach out and offer to perform dedicated flights for cancer patients. It was not our typical model, but I think the industry knew that there was still an immediate need for patients needing to travel in a safe, clean, uh, efficient environment. And um Operators have been able to pair their proficiency and routine flights with our patient needs, which has been extremely inspiring and humbling just to see their continued dedication to giving back and uh, helping those in need. Ian, how have you seen companies respond to charitable events over the last year? In the absence of physical events, we've always tried to do some sort of activity or some sort of connection Uh, back to helping not just the industry, but our communities. And I hear every day within my day job of different companies like Ashley's, when we find a need, a lot of our drive goes towards filling that need. Just within aviation, it's outstanding to see the amount of people that step up and and put something together. It's a lot more recognizable when we have physical events, but in the absence of that, we, we still see a lot of it, and I try and share as much of it as possible. Ashley, how did other companies respond to your FBO's Masks for Meals Miami event? It's been amazing, you know, like the support that we have received from other operators, you know, additionally helping us spread awareness of our event. And that was incredibly impactful in helping us uh, fulfill our mission to provide as many meals as we could to our local community. And I've also seen, you know, other FBOs doing their part as well. You know, I've seen um, them posting virtual runs and also food donations. So it's just really great to see how other operators have also created their own ways to help their communities during such difficult times. Jeremy? I'm on the uh, the kind of the other side of this, uh, working for such a small FBO and, and a kind of a mom and pop situation. Uh, obviously, 2020 was really hard on everybody. Um, with cuts and, and layoffs and things like that. So I, I think from our end, uh, at the beginning, in the middle of this, we were more focused on kind of staying afloat. So my volunteer efforts kind of, you know, dialed back a bit. But towards the end of the year, I'm trying to get it uh, kind of going again. But uh, hopefully, you know, in, in the coming months and this next year, we'll be able to have more support and continue to expand what we're doing 
uh, the the goal for everyone is to you know get kids involved and people back in the aviation and interested. So we'll see. Are there ways you think we could be doing more, Jeremy, as an industry? Being able to reach out and find young kids and youth that are interested, not only currently within our industry, business aviation, but you know in the local schools or local colleges where they need a little guidance and, and might not know something, kind of reach out like that and being able to nurture the ones that are in the industry at the beginning of their careers, you know, whether it be maintenance or, or flight crew, whatever, being able to mold them to become the great talent that you need all of our flight departments and facilities and things like that. I think just kind of to help make the mold for what we're looking for for the next 10, 20, 30 years of aviators. That's what we kind of need to do. Samantha, what do you think? We all know that this industry is extremely charitable and has always has been. And the COVID-19 pandemic was no different. And we were all eager to find ways to give back. So I think continuing to share ideas and share resources is going to be important moving forward so that people can continue to giving back to their local communities and beyond uh, with the resources that they have. I also think it's important to remember how difficult this year has been for everyone and definitely for our industry at large. And we've all provided so much support to each other. And just to continue uh, with that level of support going forward and ensuring that we're sharing best practices and we're relying on each other as much as we have over this past year. Ashley? I think GA does a really good job when it comes to stepping up to the plate during times of need. And, you know, for example, at our FBO, you know, during natural disasters, we've had pilots that would send over supplies. And it's just very, very interesting the ways that that we can contribute. And um, another way that I was thinking, you know, um, in relation to COVID and how in this year, we've been adapting in creative ways to help and contribute. Something that I was possibly thinking, you know, maybe there could be virtual field trips, you know, to help inspire the youth of working in ways that could help provide insight to the various areas of our industry. So I think we could figure out creative ways that could help give back to our community. And continuing on those themes, Ian, what would you recommend companies do to help organize or support charitable events and community outreach programs? Talk about it. Make sure you're telling your friends and make sure you're thinking of ideas of what you can do to give back. I think the biggest thing that we need to do as an industry is to just recognize what we're already doing and talk about it and spread the awareness because we're part of such a quiet, soft-spoken industry. Obviously, the young professionals in the industry aren't so soft-spoken. We we do love to get up there and, and shout out from the rooftops what we're doing. But spreading that awareness, recognizing people and, and operations that are doing great things will contribute. Success breeds success. You know, we talk about these things. We share it. We tell everyone we know the great things that business aviation is doing. And then more people, I think, would contribute to that as well. Uh, And a big part of that recognition is something that I have pretty near and dear to my heart and will continue to push anytime I have a chance. But the NBAA Young Professional Sporty Under 40 is a great way to recognize someone you know that's doing great things for business aviation and for their community. Can you tell us a bit about what else the YoPro Council has planned for the remainder of 2021, Ian? We're constantly developing new ideas and things as we go through. Uh, We meet a couple times a a month to go over what we're doing, what we can do. But the biggest thing that we ask right now is just to make sure that you're on our Facebook page sharing what you are doing, no matter how big or small, and not just during National Volunteer Week, but obviously throughout the rest of the year. So if we do have another organized event that we do, you'll hear about it there first. And then also on the YoPro newsletter, the quarterly newsletter that we put together. So watch for that as things develop. That's where you'll see it. Uh, And otherwise, just continue to share what you're doing through our easiest platform, the NBAA YoPro's Facebook page. That page can be found by searching NBAA YoPros on Facebook to learn more about these and other outreach initiatives, including the YoPro Mentorship Program. Also be sure to visit nbaa.org slash YoPro for the very latest about all the innovative work being done by the young professionals in our industry. 
And that's the latest from the National Business Aviation Association. Remember, you can subscribe to all Flight Plan episodes at Apple Podcasts in the App Store. Wherever you find your favorite podcasts, including by asking Alexa or another connected device, or download them from nbaa.org. I'm Rob Finfrock. Thanks for listening, and join us next time for a new episode of Flight Plan. Flight Plan.